the land of ancient legends and mythologies, from the birthplace of democracy to the home of the Olympic Games, from the streets of Athens where Socrates once roamed to the birthplace of Alexander the Great. This country holds a rich legacy that is waiting to be uncovered. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the top 11 best places to visit in Greece. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 11. Believe it or not, this stunning location is the result of a geological phenomenon that happened over 60 million years ago. Rising over a thousand feet above the plain of Thessaly, these huge rock formations were created by the weathering and erosion of sandstone and conglomerate rocks. In the 11th century, monks settled on the almost inaccessible sandstone peaks known as the Columns of the Sky. Despite incredible difficulties, they built 24 monasteries during the 15th century. And today, six of these monasteries still stand. Meteora offers a plethora of outdoor pursuits and adventures for nature enthusiasts. Hiking and rock climbing are popular activities. Don't miss the opportunity to witness the stunning sunsets that cast a golden glow over the monasteries. Number 10. Rhodes was famous as a center of culture and learning in the ancient world, and its strategic location made it a sought after prize for various powers throughout history. Over the centuries, Rhodes has been ruled by Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, the Knights of St. John, Ottomans, and Italians, each leaving their mark on the island's culture and architecture. Today, Rhodes is a bustling island with a unique blend of old world charm and modern amenities. You can explore the ancient ruins, medieval castles, and charming old towns to uncover the layers of history that make Rhodes unique. With its stunning coastline and crystal clear waters, the island is a paradise for beach lovers. And of course, no visit to Rhodes is complete without a boat trip to the neighboring islands where you can soak in the breathtaking beauty of the Aegean Sea. Number 9. According to Greek mythology, Delphi was considered the center, or navel, of the world. Legend has it that Zeus sent out two eagles, one to the east and the other to the west, to find the center of the world. The eagles met at the future site of Delphi, where Zeus marked the spot with a sacred stone called the Omphalos. A must-visit monument in Delphi is the Temple of Apollo, which lies on the slopes of Mount Parnassus in Greece. The temple was built in the 4th century BCE and was dedicated to the god Apollo. It was destroyed by an earthquake in the 4th century AD, and today, only a few columns remain standing. Number 8. The city was founded in 315 BC by King Cassander of Macedon, who named it after his wife, Thessalonica, the half-sister of Alexander the Great. Throughout its history, Thessaloniki has been influenced by various civilizations, including the Romans, Byzantines, Ottomans, and more. Today, the city's historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site featuring a blend of ancient ruins, Byzantine churches, and Ottoman-era buildings. Thessaloniki is a shopper's paradise, with a diverse array of local bazaars, shopping zones, and unique mementos to hunt for. Explore the bustling Modiano market, filled with colorful stalls selling everything from fresh produce to traditional Greek delicacies.
Number seven. For those who crave adventure, a trip to the nearby Halkidiki Peninsula is a must. Located just a short drive from Thessaloniki, Halkidiki is a stunning peninsula that is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Greece, such as the famous Golden Beach, which is known for its crystal clear waters and soft golden sand. The real highlight of Halkidiki is the opportunity to hike to the top of Mount Olympus, the mythical home of the gods. At 2,917 meters, Mount Olympus is the highest peak in Greece, and on a clear day, visitors can see for miles in every direction. Halkidiki also has a lively nightlife scene, with several bars, clubs, and restaurants in the towns and villages along the peninsula. Number six. Chania is located on the northwest coast of Crete, the largest island in Greece. The city is built on the ruins of an ancient Minoan city, and you can still see some of the ancient walls and buildings in the old town. Chania has a Mediterranean climate, which means it's warm and sunny most of the year. The city has a rich history, and you can see it in the architecture, which is a mix of Venetian, Ottoman, and Greek styles. The famous landmarks include the Venetian Harbor, the Old Town, and the Chania Fortress. The Venetian Harbor is a beautiful place to relax and enjoy the sea views, and the Old Town is filled with narrow streets, charming shops, and delicious restaurants. The Chania Fortress is a must-visit attraction, which offers stunning views of the city and the sea. Number five. Located in the southern part of the Aegean Sea, Crete is the largest island in Greece. It's a beautiful island with a diverse landscape, ranging from stunning beaches to rugged mountains. The island is divided into four prefectures, namely Chania, Rathymno, Heraklion, and Lysithi. Each prefecture has its own unique attractions, so you'll have plenty to explore. Crete is known for its crystal clear waters and beautiful beaches like Elephanisi and Balos. The beaches in Crete are truly breathtaking, with soft sand and turquoise waters that are perfect for swimming and sunbathing. The island is also home to several natural wonders, such as the Samaria Gorge, which is one of the longest gorges in Europe, and the Agios Nikolaos Lake. Number four. Naflio is a coastal city that offers incredible views of the sea and the surrounding islets. The city's old town is situated on a peninsula that juts into the gulf, creating a naturally protected bay. The town is known for its beautiful beaches, cafes, and its charming streets lined with colorful neoclassical houses and lush gardens. Some of the famous landmarks and attractions in Naflio include the Palamedi Fortress, which is a massive fortress built by the Venetians in the 18th century, offering impressive views of the town and the Argolic Gulf. The Bortsi, which is a small fortress located on an islet in the middle of the harbor and is accessible by boat. The Archaeological Museum of Naflio, which houses an impressive collection of artifacts from the Mycenaean, Hellenistic, and Roman periods. Number three.
a city also known as the birthplace of democracy, as it was the first city to implement democracy back in the 5th century BCE. The capital and largest city of Greece, Athens is situated in the central part of the country, not far from the coast of the Aegean Sea. The Acropolis is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the most famous landmark in Athens. It's an ancient citadel located on a high rocky outcrop above the city. A former temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, the Parthenon is located on the Acropolis and is considered one of the greatest surviving examples of ancient Greek architecture. Athens is also known for its vibrant nightlife, with plenty of bars, clubs, and restaurants to choose from. Number two. Mykonos is a beautiful Greek island located in the Cyclades group, about 150 kilometers southeast of Athens. Known as the party capital of Greece, the island is famous for its vibrant party scene with world-class clubs and bars that stay open until the early hours of the morning. But it's not just all about the nightlife. The island also offers a range of outdoor activities such as snorkeling, diving, and sailing. Some of the best attractions in the area include the Windmills of Mykonos and the Paraporshani Church. The Windmills of Mykonos are a group of iconic windmills located in the capital town of Mykonos and are a popular spot for taking pictures. The Paraporshani Church is a beautiful whitewashed church located in the heart of Mykonos town. It's one of the most photographed churches in Greece. Number one. Within the vast Aegean Sea lies the surreal island of Santorini. Many call it the most beautiful island in the world. And it's not difficult to see why the environment in Santorini is stunning. The island consists of beautiful beaches with black, red, and white sand, and its iconic whitewashed houses with blue domes. The island is the result of a massive volcanic eruption that occurred over 3,500 years ago, which gave the island its distinctive landscape. The island is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in Greece, such as Kamari and Parissa, which offers crystal clear waters and soft black sand. One of the most iconic landmarks in Santorini, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding area is the caldera, a large circular depression in the ground formed by a volcanic eruption. <laughs> 